Yo, what's going on dudes? My name is Tazza. Welcome back to another episode of my LA Angels uh, franchise mode. Today we are against the Baltimore Orioles. We are at Oriole Park, Camden Yards. Uh, a lovely park, I think. Really uh, really nice. I like the, the fact that it's open. Just like the layout of it. One of those that I definitely want to see. Uh, but I say that about most big parks. Anyway, so uh, guys, I am feeling a little bit better, which is uh, something I'm really glad to say. You know, been a, a really like rough week, two weeks of not feeling great. A couple of changes to the lineup today. Borges is going into centre field, and Sweeney is going to be designated hitting. So no pool holes and no trout today. And speaking of Borges, here he is, top of the first. There is no outs, obviously. He is the leadoff man today, and straight away he's going to drill this one into into centre. I was going to say centre, into centre. That one just gets down. And that is a base hit for Borges to begin the inning. So, uh, yeah, a good choice. And Borges, a great player. Uh, you know, uh, very fast, obviously, on the base paths. And uh, you can also hit him out of the park. But anyway, nothing comes of that base hit. Weaver starting the game. Strike out there for the second out of the inning. Hester playing at the as, the, uh, as the catcher today. Nick Markaker steps in. Two outs. So he hasn't got a lot to work with here. Going for a curveball. That one stays within the strike zone. So we're going for a low change up this time. On the 0 1 count, the pitch is fouled off for a strike two. Our cake's in a hole now. Going to go for a high four seamer right up inside. Can it stay inside? It does indeed. Strike three called. The two strikeouts in the first inning for Weaver. A good start to the game for him. Weaver's been especially strong recently. Plenty of strikeouts clutch kind of moments pitching here he is in the bottom of the second facing Chris Davis one to count this one goes only as far as Trumbo manages to go and cover the bag for out number one so yeah we have a force on the ground out there two strikeouts before and a pop fly in first as well a good start no base hits allowed so far I don't believe Adam Jones stepping in now I'm gonna go ahead and throw a slider well count to him and this one only goes as far as Wells, but this one gets past him. Don't know why the computer didn't lock onto that. Very disappointed. Wells going to throw to second. A strong throw, but not in time. And Jones will get a double there. Not really that much deserved. JJ Hardy, anyway, not able to check his swing. And later in the inning, that will end it. So a good strike out there from Weaver to get out of a bit of a jam. Anyway, we go top of the third now. 1-2 count for Kayaspo. A very long inning. 12 pitch inning. And this one drilled deep to right, but not uh, fair at all. Very deep into foul ground there. So now a 13 pitch inning, something along those lines. I can't remember how long it was, but it was very, very long. 1-2 count. This one gets past the first baseman. Davis not able to get there. Kayaspo with a base hit and well deserved after that very long at-bat. Cole Hamill getting a start for the Orioles today. So that is uh, a very tough ride that we've got to face. Also, guys, don't forget um, my Tony Campana series. We'll have a couple of changes soon, fingers crossed. Um, I gave the options in the last video. Uh, I want you guys to go ahead and leave suggestions as well as you trade Tony. I gave uh, four options, I believe it was. It was the Yankees, um, the Pirates, uh, <laughs> the Dodgers and someone else I can't remember but anyway John Hester's hit gets past a diving left fielder there to get runners on third and second a big double there for uh, for Hester and he can be pretty proud with that on a bit of a slump at the moment but I had to play him because Ionetta was just far too tired and in steps Peter Borges so one outs for, for Borges here top of the third only the one out and runners 90 feet away from home at max so that slider swung on a miss to make the count 0-1-1. Righter versus righter match up here. Not great for Borges. Normally he does better against lefties, which is obvious for right-handers, uh, but just him in general. That one was a good opportunity. Straight down the middle for Seema. Swung on a miss. Timing was good. Just underneath it. I was thinking it was a slider. So the 0-2 count pitch to Borges. He's going to be a bunt. One run comes in, and the, <laughs> the ball is not picked up there. And oh dear... The suicide squeeze works this time. Borges able to get a, <laughs> a bunt RBI. 
That one didn't expect to happen. Really, the throw should have got him out. But no throw attempt was given. And now it is a 1-0 lead. Anyway, top of the fourth now. Josh Hamilton steps into the box. Only one out for him. 0-0 count. And that one is wide for Seema just outside of the zone. 93 miles an hour, so we've got something to keep up with here. 1-0 count. And this one is drilled deep to right. No questions about that one. You can put that one on the board. Gone for Josh Hamilton. Big fly for Josh Hamilton. Now he's crushed and showing why he has such strength. And you should be careful when throwing into him like that, especially if you're a righty. And it's good to see Josh Hamilton uh, getting some home runs at the moment. He's definitely been uh, not living up to the expectations I'd hoped. Uh, Trumbo obviously leading, leading the Angels for home runs uh, with Pujols behind him. And uh, now Hamilton's back in contention for it. Trout's hitting well as well. So good overall performance by the Angels here. Hamilton crushing that one. That one was gone, absolutely no doubt. Just inside, high and inside, able to get underneath it. And take that one for a very deep home run. So yeah, as I was saying, those are the teams for Tony. I believe it Pirates, Dodgers, uh, Yankees, and I can't remember who the other was. But yeah. This one, though, drilled as well. Exactly the same spot as Hamilton. Very disappointing here. The Orioles find an answer and get on the board eventually. And it's probably well deserved. They had been wearing Weaver down. So she can be uh, disappointed with that one. Uh, undoubtedly. Bit of a payback for Josh Hamilton because it went to right field as well. And there was nothing he could do. Absolutely drilled out of the park. But like I say, it's the same spot as Hamilton. Very unfortunate here. Bottom of the fourth, though. Same inning. 2-2 two, two count. JJ Hardy, two outs. They are threatening with runners on first and second. That's who seem and not able to check his swing. And Weaver gets out of a jam. Could have given up a lot more runs there. And he manages to work his way out of that one. And the, count and the game stays the way it is. 2-1 Angels. The Orioles are back in contention, though. Bottom of the fifth here. 0-2 oh, count. That one stays fair, Bettini, or however you say his name. <laughs> Bennett, B B said, I don't, know, uh, I don't even know, I'm still tired. <laughs> anyway, Mark Trumbo steps in, top of the six, two outs for him. Uh, no big hits for him today, sadly. And that one will go foul. So, 0 oh, 1 count. The score is still 2 1, Angels still leading here through six. Trumbo. This one's drilled deep to right centre field. Has this one gone? It has indeed. Jones to the wall. Not able to stop that one. Trumbo with big fly as well. So Hamilton and Trumbo leading with the home runs for the Angels now. Absolutely crushed that one as well. Trumbo showing why he is leading the American League in home runs, I think. Or I think actually it might be Miggy. But, uh, that, that's a hard person to keep up with for home runs. Trumbo showing why he should be in contention. And uh, one of our most consistent players this season. Really happy with Trumbo. That one didn't look convincing at first. But when Jones got to the warning track, you know that that one was gone. And a lovely shot of the scoreboard there. Showing that we are up 2-1. That goes into the crowd. Anyway, after a strong day from Weaver, in comes Garrett Richards. 4.91 ERA for him, not fantastic. Five strikeouts and six walks. So not great, but just needed to take some pressure off Weaver. Nolan Rymold here, going to step into the box. The left field, I've not had too much to do today. I've not done too much. Rich is going to go ahead and throw a slider here. 3-1 the game, and 0-1 the count. So no outs for Raymold. Wanting to start something off in the inning. They need to, uh, to start rallying now. The Orioles get some uh, heat. Swing and a miss on that two-seamer low. So 0-2 count. Gary Rich is going to throw a change-up. Nope. That one not able to stay in the zone or force a swing. 1-2. Raymond stays alive. Pitch is swung on and hit into foul territory. Hamilton not going to be able to go over and get that one. Bouncing off. I don't know what part of the ball like you actually call that. Uh, I'm sure an Orioles fan could potentially tell me. Other than just foul ground anyway. But a two-seamer here. Swung on and missed. Richards gets a strikeout here. And then later in the inning, J.J. Hardy. One-two count for him. 
Swing and a miss on that two-seamer as well. Two swings and a misses on the two-seamers. But after a strong in from Richards, I take him out anyway to bring in Sean Burnett, a 2.30 ERA. Going to be taking on Alexi Casilla here. Bottom of the eighth, going to go ahead and throw a sinker. That one not able to get into the zone. 1-0 count to Casilla. Throw a slider far across the strike zone. Ball two. Looking good to start off the inning for Sean Burnett. Going to go ahead and play it safe with a changeup. And this one pops to Kendrick. Over to Trumbo in time for out one. So yeah, as I say guys, please go ahead and leave where you would like to see Tony go. It's time, it's time to move him. And where is your choice? So far it seems between uh, the Pirates and the Yankees. The Dodgers really haven't had too many votes. Um, but, you know, who knows? Who knows where he'll go? I think it's going to come down to either the Pirates or the Yankees. Um, but leave, uh, leave your suggestions for now. Dodgers, Yankees. I think it was either like Red Sox or Orioles. I think. Can't believe I can't remember. Disappointing. So step uh, Markakis now in the batter's box. Sean Burnett has managed to get two outs here. Swing and a miss on that slider. Nasty, nasty bite to that slider. Throwing a sinker ball low. Oh, one count. That one gets in the zone for 2 I'm going to go ahead and throw another slider. Try and get it outside of the zone. But that one goes high. Bit of a wild pitch there. So one two count. Same pitch again. Slider swung on and fouled. Okay, is staying alive here. One more slider. And that one is popped up to centre field. Borges hustles over. End of the inning. So solid pitching performance today, really, from the Angels. From a mixture of Weaver, Richards, and now Burnett. And the Orioles still have a two run deficit to overcome. So now, after Mike Trout went ahead and a pinch hit for Ibar, who didn't get a hit today, had an awful game, in steps Ernesto Frieri, someone who has played incredibly well so far. One save for him. Here he is in the bottom of the ninth. Count. He's still, the score is still three and one. This one pops out, pops out, pops out to Vernon Wells. No error this time. And a one-two count to Jones. Swung on and missed. Frieri bearing down here to try and get this game closed and get some saves under his belt I'm thinking of moving Friere up to say uh, up to closer and maybe going ahead and trading uh, Ryan Madsen because quite a few people seem to want closing pitches and relief pitches he seems the guy to do it oh two count here Raymold the last chance for the Orioles bouncing that one foul so an 0-2 two count for him two outs gonna go ahead and throw two seamer try and get it in the, in the zone Friere swings and misses strikes him out and the Angels take this game 3-1 to one at Oriole Park. Solid pitching performances all around. Richards, Weaver, Burnett and then Frieri shutting the door. Two strikeouts to end it. So a very good game overall uh, from uh, all the players except Ibar today really. Owen Wells. But yeah, so uh, go ahead and leave some comments about where you think Tony should be traded to. Please leave a like if you enjoyed this folks. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'm so glad to be 600 subscribers. In the next few days, my 600 subscriber special will be coming. So if you've got any more questions, leave them in the comment section below. Uh, anything can be about sport or non-sport. It's completely up to you. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Friere, Friere closes this one. He's definitely earned that closest spot, I think. So I love you all, dudes. I will see you in my next video. Goodbye.